Hi everyone, it's Thursday the 1st of October and it's 8.25 in the evening and as promised an update regarding the model railway. Unfortunately I've not done anything with the actual layer itself but as you can see I have been buying some more rolling stock and uh, I've got a whole bunch of locomotives here as well. One of them is actually, no two of them are actually non-runners well, one would if I put some wheels on it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I think these are just from two, th two, three, four different eBayers. I had to stop and think for a second there. Um, so I got this locomotive with box. Uh, these two coaches. This, I think it's a luggage coach or parcel coach for LMS. Uh, this 08, and I think, if I remember rightly, this one, all from the same, oh no, and that truck, all from the same eBay over the past month or so. I've got a bunch of other stuff from him as well, which you've already seen. Uh, these ones lined up here, plus this one came from another eBay as one job lot, as spares or repairs. Uh, I've got this LMS brake van, I've actually got two of these now. I didn't realise that the one I got off my stepdad had the rear working light, so I bought this one for less than £5. So I ended up with two. Oh well. Uh, and these two coaches I got as spares or repairs as well. Uh, I'm not sure why, because they do actually run on the track, although this one isn't running very well because it needs some work on it. Anyway, let's have a closer look at some of these, shall we? That is just an ordinary little truck that I bought to go with the other three, so I've now got four. Oops. The name is different, but the colour is basically the same, which is why I bought it, and it was cheap. So, I'm going to put that down on my box out of the way. And uh, there's the LMS brake van. Like I said, I've got two of these now. I've got one in a box, so... Oh, I don't know. I suppose I could eBay it again. I don't really need to, do I? Right, although I wouldn't get a lot for it, to be honest. I didn't pay a lot for it, so. What should we start with? Should we start with the coaches, because they're the boring bit? So, I've got two of these for £6.50. And I actually bought these to go with this one, and then realised, once I'd got these, that they're different colours. Same style of coach, just in different, slightly different shades. I don't know who made these ones. Hornby, I've just seen the name. I don't know who makes that one then. So I've got two of these LNER coaches. Good enough condition. A bit faded on the top there, but I'm never worried about that. They were complete, or are complete I should say. There's no damage that I've seen on them. I've got the brake coach there. I do like these little slotted windows at the top here. This camera is, creates such an illusion. As I look at the screen here to see what I'm doing, it looks all black and dark. But I know it's not, it's just the angle I'm looking at. So yeah, anyway. There's the brake coach. And I think the other two are corridor coaches. But this is the one that was uh, sold as spares or repairs. I think this is a slightly different shade because it's made by a different company. Yeah, this is Triang, that's why. You know, I spent ages looking at this the other day, trying to find the name that's hidden. Just in there. But this was sold as spares or repairs, and I think the reason for that is these front wheels here, or these wheels here. I was going to say front wheels, but which is front and which is back on one of these, I don't think it matters. <laughs> anyway, it's fitted with um, lights, which I've already checked, they don't work. But I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of green corrosion on these wheels and whatnot, so... In fact, when I had this go around the track, it made a squeal. But this this end is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that one. Oh, it's that one that squeals. Listen. <laughs> it's moving freely. But yeah. They're not that, that one's not that free. But all that junk on there. I think what I'm going to have to do is try and pop these wheels off and clean them up. That might be why the uh, lights aren't working. Maybe the bulbs are blown because of doubt they're LED. I can't actually see them. I might have to open it up to have a look. 
Well, anyway, I've got a rake of three of those, even if one is a slightly different colour. I've got another one of these. Like I said, I think these two, but yeah, this one and that one, as the spares or repairs couple, were um, less than five pounds I bought them for. This one, I think, was sold spares repairs because it's got these uh, screws and a nut in there to hold the bogies on. So I'm presuming the original rivets that would have hold the bogies on broke at some point and they fixed it. But it does work on the track. Might tighten that nut down a little bit more. I think this is Hornby. Yep, this is Hornby. Made in China. There is a corridor coach. Corridor brake coach. I think I've got another two of these coaches. I did this. I might spit me words out. The seller I got these two from had a rake of six of these that I wanted to get. But uh, I missed out on I didn't get home in time to put a bid in, unfortunately. Mind you, with a bid I had in mind, I wouldn't have won it anyway. I'd have got outbid. Because <laughs> they went for £52. Quite a substantial amount. And just to go with the LMS stuff I'm building up, I bought this, which I think is a... I can't remember if it's a parcel wagon or a baggage wagon, something like that. Complete with a little rear light. Which... I think it's got a little... Yeah, it has. It's got like a... What looks like a little red piece of glass in there. I can see it shining in the light, so... But other than that, there's not a lot to it. <laughs> I don't even think I've had this going around the track yet. Uh, anyway, that is just basically the boring stuff. The locomotives. I'm going to start with this one because I really do like this. I don't always, like 99.9% .9 of people, I don't always read descriptions fully. But... Uh, even so, when I did read it, I don't remember seeing anything about this coming with a box, but it did. And this, if I'm just find my piece of card, is the uh, LMS Patriot Class 5XP. There it is. Uh, 460 Duke of Sutherland. Now, I won this for £46 and some odd pence. And it does run really well. It's a bit jerky on here, but I think... It probably wants its wheels cleaned up a bit and this track needs a good clean up. But it does work. But before I do that, I'm actually going to take it off the track. This is my only Hornby tender driven loco. I've got an Airfix one, but I can't remember if the Airfix is loco driven or tender driven. Um, I know there's wires going to the tender on my Airfix um, LMS 4F Fowler. But I can't remember if the wires are just for pickups on the tender. I think it's a tender pickup. But anyway, I actually didn't want to do that because this can be a bit of a pig to get back on the track. But one of the reasons I actually bought this is one because it's LMS and I've got quite a lot of LMS stock at the minute. It wasn't intentional. I just sort of randomly started buying LMS stock and continued basically. So there we go. But the other reason was, it's not black or green, because I've got a lot of black and green locomotives. This is like a very deep burgundy or maroon type red. Now, is she going to run? To there. Go on. She's alright, she, once she's got enough flat straight. And once she's got running like that, she works pretty great. Let's give it a bit more steam, so to speak. Speaking of controllers, I've got one just off camera to show you as well. And there we go. Yeah, it always gets to there and then it stops, look. So I think I'll give the wheels a clean on that one. She's running all right. I'll give her that. I'm going to take her off the track now. Or will I? Yeah, well, because I'll hook the LNER 
I have so much trouble saying that, you know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> L-N-E-R. I try and say it quick, that's the problem. I try to go L-N-E-R. That just doesn't work when you try to say it quick, you've got to slow down. What I like about this is there's only the one wire going between the tender. The other contact is there where the tender actually hooks to the loco. No, I can't. There we go. You've got to disconnect it to get it in the box, which is a bit of a pain. Right, you go there. You go there. That's going to go on top like that. I tell you what, Hornby packaged them well back then, didn't they? Let's move my uh, wheel gauge tool. That goes on there. I'm not really fussed about the boxes. I mean, it's great if they do come with a box, but you know, I'm quite happy to buy locos without a box. Especially these old ones, because the boxes, as you can see, are getting rather <laughs> tatty with age. I don't know how old this one is. I don't know if anyone can tell me from the box style how old it is. I have absolutely no idea myself. But I do like that one. Really, really do like that one. I've noticed the artist's impression on the front here is a much lighter red than what the locomotive actually is. And the guy I bought this from has still got locomotives and stuff up for sale as rolling stock. And I'm going to try and put a bid in and get a few more. He is getting low. He didn't relist as much this time. Um, if anything, well, I actually say relist. He relisted what didn't sell last time, but he hasn't added many, if anything, new listings, which is a bit of a shame, really. Right. I don't know what that is. It's like a counterweight or something at the top there that moves. I have dropped this on the floor once. Not intentionally. I tried to send this around the track and I'm hoping it's not going to do it this time. I'm hoping I've fixed the issue. But it wasn't running on the track and it got to the corner, wobbled, and then tilted like that and went straight off the end of the table. But this is another one I got from that dude. Oh, it's running better till it gets to the corners. It does not like the corner for some reason and the wheels are sparking. But I don't know the brand of this one. And this is just a random cheap 08 I bought. I was bored that weekend. Had a bit of money in my PayPal, so I thought, you know, why not put a bid on it? I think I got that for £30 something, but I don't know the maker. I don't know if he says on the advert. I can't remember. I'll have to check it. But that's what the underside looks like. It's got metal ladders here, separately fitted ladders, if that's a clue to anyone. This has got quite a wobble on it. And I don't know why. I've used my wheel gauger here. The wheels are gauged fine. And the same width as the... Oh, that one won't. That one's a bit narrow. Let's try and space that again. That's fine. Middle ones are... I don't think the middle ones matter really, do they? Because they haven't got flanges on. I think it's these back ones that might be the issue. But I don't understand why I keep coming off on the corner. That hits that corner, wobbles like that and just comes straight off. How weird. Let me do it the other way. Around that corner. Let's have a look. Yep. That is a weird issue. If anyone can help with that. <laughs> I've not had one do that before. Okay, so it's going to be great if I just go down the straight, then I can go down the straights with it. <laughs> right. And I think before we get to this job lot, I'm going to talk about these, these two main lines. Now, I think I got this from the same seller as that 08 and the uh, Duke of Sutherland. However, I'm not 100% certain on that. All I can remember is, this one cost me less than £10, and if you remember, 
This one is the one that I've had for quite a while. But it wasn't a runner because the rear axle had actually broken. The plastic connector that bit that connects the two wheels together had actually shattered. So I couldn't use it. And I saw this on eBay for less than £10. Put a bid on it. I think I got it for £9 something. And uh, it was advertised. Yeah, I've just remembered it was from that other from that same seller I got the 08 and the Duke of Sutherland from. And it was advertised as having a tight motor. So I thought, well. If all else fails, I can just take the wheels off of this one and put them on this one, because they're both mainline, they're both exactly the same. And that's exactly what I've done. But this one runs fine, I couldn't find nothing wrong with it. But I preferred this body, because if you look at this one, all the handrails, like that bit there, that bit there, all down there, are all black. And I don't like that. There's a handrail on the back there that's also black. I didn't like that. So I still went ahead and put the wheels on mine because it's got the chrome handrails which I like better. I've just realised this has got the little badge thing on the front there it's got one on the other side here yeah. is she going to work for me though? a little bit That's dirty wheels. <laughs> I didn't clean it very well last time I ran it, so... But yeah, it does run. Which I'm happy with. And I've got another one there for spares if I need it. Right. The job lot of six, I believe it was. Yeah, six. Now, they're all bought spares or repairs, and at least... Four, at least three of them were total non-runners. That one, that one, and this one on the count of this N2 was in bits in a tub. Um, and I just took a chance and reassembled it and now it works. So this is the only one out of six that don't run. And there's a good reason for that. There's no motor. That's why I free wheel so well. Whee! See, no motor, no motor, no pickups, no insulating plate or anything there, it's all gone. It is just a rolling chassis. It's a Jinty, which I've already got. Someone's having fun on a bike. Anyway, yeah, it's a Jinty that I've already got. So I had all the markings scrubbed off of it. And there's a bit of a bent rail at the top here. Can I straighten that out? Or is it broken? No, it has actually broke. Although it looks better now, ish. Anyway, I'm going to leave this as it is, at least for now. If I get bored um, or I find the parts, I'll try and make it a running loco. I have got a choice of about four different motors I could stick in here. But I haven't got the pickups or anything to go on the bottom, that's the problem. Oh, actually, in three of the motors don't have brushes, only one does. But anyway, I'm going to leave it as it is, because as my theme is a... Uh, Preservation Railway, sometimes you'll see things like this sitting on a siding at the uh, Preserved Railway's yard, either being used for spares, you know, spare parts, or awaiting a restoration, you know. So, I'm going to leave it like that for now, because I can actually move that around the sidings quite easily. I almost use that as a toy car. <laughs> anyway work this way I think so we've got this little diesel shunt or I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head but this one was a non-runner I took it apart and I was quite amazed at the um, way this is put together there's no wires in here at all it uses absolutely no wires it is literally a motor sandwiched between two metal plates with insulating blocks that these two screws go into separating them and I think there's some insulators at the top as well and obviously the motor's got some tape around it to insulate it and the brushes literally just have two little brass springy contacts basically that touch either side and again either side for the wheels now this side would touch that metal plate this side touches that metal bit thus basically you've got a circuit now this one has some timers. I think there's still a bit of a dicky connection because sometimes she'll work. 
Sometimes she won't. I think it depends what mood she's in. What mood are you in? You're in a bad mood because you don't want to go. There we go. She's alright once she's got going. But I've actually got that on full speed. <laughs> oh, I did forget to tell you, this is actually a little Backman. A little Backman there. This is a nice little thing. It's got no um, hitches on that I can use. Hitches. Couplers. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little diesel logo. I like that one. Next up is this one. Again, I've forgotten what this one is. I've forgotten what all of these are. Um, apart from these two, because they're both identical. Made by completely different manufacturers, but they are identical. This one actually did run, kind of. It was a bit jerky when I put it on the track. But I've literally just cleaned the wheels up, and now she runs. Um... But it looks like it's had a bodged repair there. I don't know if you can see that. It's all glued together because the base plate here is cracked. It's been glued together, but not level. This bit is actually sticking up a little bit. A bit of glue at the back there as well. But other than that, I'm going to stick her on the track. She should be able to do a full circle. Yep. I like the noise that one makes. That. She goes around really well. Usually I take the bodies off to, you know, dab a little oil on the motor shaft and whatnot and any felt pads if it has them. I know not all locomotives have them. But because that's glued there, I dare not take that one apart. I've just left it. It's running. And as they say, don't fix what ain't broke. So that literally just had its wheels cleaned and it's worked well ever since. Now, first of the two N2s. This one is a main line. And, uh, excuse me, one minute. Oh, bloody hairs. Yeah, <laughs> this one doesn't run properly. It's rather jerky. And I think the issue... I personally think, because I've done pretty much everything else and it still does it, are uh, the motor brushes. I think they're getting a bit worn on this one. Because um, it's rather jerky in motion. and keeps stopping and starting. And I've tried cleaning the wheels. I've cleaned the um, the rotor, motor shaft, whatever they call it, stator. can't remember. Stopping and starting. And it's a bit of a bugger to get it to go as well from a dead stop. And like I said, I've cleaned the wheels thoroughly, I've cleaned everything else thoroughly, and it still does it. So I think she could do with some new brushes on the motor. And I don't think I've got any that will fit that. Never mind. The next one is an Airfix Air N2. So it's my second Airfix locomotive. And this was, as I said earlier, in bits. Completely in bits in a tub. And I thought, I don't know, it might work if I put it back together. Um, I got a couple of wires and touched them on the motor and the motor did spin so I thought I'm going to take my chance put it together and see if she'll actually run and she does now one key difference between this and the main line is if you look at the wheels only these this set of wheels and that set of wheels have flanges the middle ones don't on the uh, main line the middle ones have got flanges I've got hair stuck to it as well go away yeah, that's the only difference I can see, other than that, 
there's no difference. Even the motors are exactly the same. So I'm guessing one of them bought the tooling from the other. I don't know which way round that would be. I've definitely got a dirty bit of track here. It's not the fastest thing on the planet, but... She does run really well. Whee! I'm stop you there. That's... I don't know why it does that. Could you hear it humming? I turn the uh, controller off. Anyway, that one runs. Next one, that's what actually attracted me to buying this job lot, is this little 060 LNER loco. So I think I've actually got two LNER locos because I've got this dinky little one here and I've got the Flying Scott. Dirty wheels on the low coast, but track connection may be, and look fine though. Just I'm not gonna lean on it this time and see if it goes through if I don't lean on the table. Maybe there is a connection issue. Just look down on the table and Oh, work, man. Okay. Suit yourself. Right. <laughs> Stand up now. Oi! Controller. That was the last thing, wasn't it? Let me just pull you over this way a bit. Because it's set up right there. Now I got that from the same eBay or I got the Duke of Sutherland and Yoe and uh, these from amongst other things. Um, and I won that as an auction. He auctions everything. He doesn't do buy it now. For 25 quid. And uh, I have got the inner track connected to that at the moment. I think it's on this one. That's all it is. So you just connect one track to that one, one track to that one. There you go. But what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to put a fold down shelf on the front here. And that'll have to be disconnected every time I drop the railway down. Because I can't fix that to this. It's only got feet. But it does work. So let me put the M2 on this one. And in theory... I'm just going to turn you so you can see it moving. I'm going to try and I've got to try and do this without getting in the way of the camera. Actually, I've got a better idea. Why don't I just bring this to me? Look at that crawl I can do with this. That slow speed. Can't do that with the other control. Derailed itself and re-railed itself. Oh, yeah. It works great, I like it. I've tried both sides as well, both sides work fine. If you change the resistance, it means that you have to turn this further before the train starts. Or in this case locomotive starts. See so if I put the resistance on to low. I've only got to turn the knob a little bit to get it to move. I'll put the resistance up. I've got to turn it a lot further. So there we go. We've even got auxiliary power out on this because we've got a pair of terminals there and a pair on the other side. And anyway, everything is working so I'm happy with that. 
Well, I'm just going to check this because something is not right with this. It sounded like that hit something on the track that derailed it. But I can't see. I can't see anything actually. Why do I have to put a longer straight in this end? I wanted the other end. No idea. No idea. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> there must be a bit of a, a dip there. Off. Why is it these smaller locomotives seem to have more energy than the bloody big ones? Ooh, I'm glad I stopped that just in time before we had a collision with the uh, other controller. <clears throat> oh yeah, one other update. I've actually got all of this all wired up and working and I've just realised that's kind of bowing as well. I don't know how I'm going to get that to sit flat, but I don't like it like that. I'll have to go around and double check the track, I think. Not tonight, though. This can get packed up and whew, now that I'm done with the video. Right. I've got a lot of my uh, stock completely sorted out as well now in the different boxes. So I've got locomotives. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. In that big box there. Apart from a couple of coaches that are on top for some reason. I have no idea why they're in there. And I've got a box over this way, which is full of my freight stuff, if you like. My brake vans, my trucks, my tankers and everything are all in there. And I thought, I thought I had another box somewhere. Well, there's another box full of track and odds and sods as well. But we can't see that at the minute. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? Forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. That controller is an H&M Duet. Which you probably saw on the front of it anyway when I showed you. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> So, uh, I think that is it. <sighs> right. I don't actually know where I'm going to go from here with this model. <laughs> It's been really, really, really tempting to rip the track up and actually start completely over from fresh, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go that far, because then I've got to unstick the station. And the other building that's stuck down is the two-road loco shed over there. That is actually glued down as well now. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to peel all of that up. I don't think it'll come up hole anyway. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. Point motors, they got to be done. I'm not looking forward to that. Then there's the question of lighting and yeah. <laughs> Still a lot of work. We'll get there eventually. Maybe I should spend more time buying stuff to actually build the railway than buying a rolling stock in locos and whatnot. Actually, I'm going to leave that one here because I'm going to send that around the middle one and see if it still does it. 
I'll just confirm if it's a the uh, track it doesn't like, or if it's a problem with the load carrier. Let's move these out of the way. Yeah, get off. Right. Coaches. Coaches. I'm actually really glad I've got coaches to run around on this layout now. Go radical! Go radical! Go radical! Yes! It's gone round one corner! It's come off that corner! <laughs> Maybe the wheels are worn out! Look into that one because I don't know. Right, I'll disconnect this because I can't. Uh... Fold it up otherwise. One thing I'm going to have to do is. Uh, put some of these on this lead here so I can actually connect it to this because I can't do that yet. In case you were wondering why I only had the controller connected to the inner circle and not the outer. Get off of there. There we go. Transformer hum. That is something you'd have here these days. Right, oh, I better put that back in my tool drawer. And get my uh, Duke of Sutherland off of there. Right, I'll tell you what, this is getting bloody heavy, slowly. And I have been wondering if I'd be able to fold this up once I've got everything on there. I'm not designing this very well, but I've got nothing to get hold of here, have I? Whee! Up we go! Oh, fudging hell. Yeah. Yeah. Got to change the screws in that leg as well. Come loose. Doing this the hard way, really, aren't I? Because if I was sensible and using my head, I would have done this end first. Just make sure it's on camera. Yeah, I would have done the bed end first because now that the bed's turned around, I can actually get to this a lot easier. But of course, my head wasn't working. <laughs> right. Unplug that. Ah, my pin broke off. It's actually stuck in the socket. Right. They can go there. Oh yeah, these were two. I was actually trying to sell on eBay on my second account. But uh, kept coming up for the person that I was unable to accept payment, and I have no idea why. Anywho, well, that's the box from the low coat. There's another and another truck. The truck there minus a set of wheels and. Oh, for God's sake, I've forgotten again. That'll come to me later. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you anymore. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to get this lot sorted out and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.